one. I've had this project going on for years. It's not even really a project. It's simply a AA battery running a SparkFun NCP1402 little boots converter, and it lights up an LED. And on a brand new AA battery, this will run easily one or two months 24-7. No problems whatsoever. And it will drain it down to about a half a volt. The thing is, it's kind of messy and I'm holding it on with magnets and that's the way I've been doing it for about three or four years so I figured it's time to update this a little bit and make it a little better so I designed a quick little board sending out to Oshpark and it's going to mount sort of like this We've got a little double A battery holder and eventually these will get cut off after we populate the board and this will do it for us so let's go ahead and build these boards and we'll get more into the specifics and before we start I got all my stickers. I got a new sticker. Let's go ahead and put it on. There we go. I don't think I'm going to fit another one in there. I'm going to have to go find another spot on here when I get another sticker. Okay, my solder paste was completely dried out, but I reconstituted, I think I reconstituted a little too much. So I don't know how good this is gonna work, so we're gonna give it a shot and see what happens. The problems of using old solder paste. I wasn't buying new solder paste just for this three little boards. And that should suffice. It's kind of muddy. But we'll give it a shot and see what it does. Okay, let's start by placing the uh, 0603 size 10 microfarad capacitors. Now the 22 ohm resistors for the 10 milliamp setting on the LEDs. Yeah, now for the uh, seven and a half ohm resistors for the 30 milliamp setting. Okay, now we'll do the inductors for the boost circuit. Okay, now for the LEDs. Okay, and before we place the boost chips, the chip I'm actually using, if I can put this down here safely, is the TPS61221 DCKT. It's a little bit better than the NCP1402 that was on the SparkFun boost board, plus they stopped making that boost chip anyway. So uh, I believe for running the 1.5 volt battery, the NCP1402 was getting somewhere in the 70 percentile range for boost efficiency, whereas this one uh, gives me in the 80s percentile of boost efficiency. So we're actually getting a nice little boost and we'll get a little more power out of the battery. So let's go ahead and place them. And now we'll be back after we uh, finish reflowing these. Okay, so we got the three boards reflowed, and they look pretty good, surprisingly, with the uh, crap 
solder paste I used and we got the three battery holders but before we put these on you'll see right here in the center I have a solder jumper that you can select either 10 milliamps or 30 milliamps we're gonna set one for 10 milliamps set the second one for 30 milliamps and then we're gonna leave the last one open so we can do some current testing so let's put this one out of the way yeah put that one out of the way we'll set one for 10 milliamps and one for 30 milliamps Okay, that one's set for 10 milliamps. That one's set for 30 milliamps. Okay, so this one's set for 10 milliamps, and this one's set for 30 milliamps. Simple as just sliding this on. See, it's, it's nice and flush on there. Now let's do the other one. There's one that's for 10 milliamps. And there's the one that's open right now, so we can do current testing in a minute. So let's solder these on. There we go. All three of them made. Let me get three AA batteries. Okay, so now they're all assembled, but before we light them up, I wanted to give you some information about the LEDs themselves. From Mouser, these are Lumi LEDs. Here is the manufacturer number for them. And the actual information on them, these are high power LEDs, white. They're 3014 size, uh, cool white, 5700 Kelvin, 13 lumens when powered fully. The CRI or color rendering, color rendering index is 80. Uh, for current is 30 milliamps. For voltage is 3.1. Surface mount, length, width, size. And they're part of the Luxian 3014 series. And that's the LEDs that we are using on this. Let's see here. First off, we have here the 10 amp. Let's do the 10 milliamp one first. Nice. I love it. Works beautifully. Now the 30 milliamp one. Wow. Like really freaking bright. Now for comparison, let's uh, start turning off some lights here. Because I do have the... Uh, I do have the um, exposure locked on my camera. So let me turn off my big light. And turn off the main light. Okay, now all lights are out. It's just these two. So they are, here's the 10 mil, 10 milliamp one, and here's the 30 milliamp one. And they light up quite nicely. Let's bring something out here you can actually read. See, here's the 10 milliamp one. Here's the 30 milliamp one. 10, 30, 40? Maybe that makes 40? But yeah, they're really bright. And they all even stand up on edge. There you go. Yep, there's our 3.285 volts. Okay, so let's run some current through it. Let's go milliamps. So center, tap, switch. Let's do the 10 milliamp option first. So center, and lights up. And uh, apparently that's pulling 23 milliamps. Okay, so I guess I have my resistors kind of messed up. So if that's the case, what does the 30 milliamp function go? So much for using a resistor calculator. Okay, that's 44.2 milliamps. Okay, so I do need to adjust my uh, resistor values a little bit. <laughs> So that's this project. I do need to adjust the footprint in KiCad a little bit because I put it backwards. I had to flip the LEDs after I did the uh, soldering on it because I had them backwards. For some reason, I had negative and positive thought differently. So I had to fix that. And the resistor values, apparently, even though I used an online LED calculator and gave it the 3.3 volt output and the 3.1 volt forward voltage drop from these LEDs, these are the values it told me to use, and apparently that's not right, because 
we're not getting 10 milliamps and 30 milliamps. We're getting 23 and 44. So one of these is being overdriven. This one, this one's being overdriven. This is the one set for 33. It's actually putting out 44 milliamps. So it's really freaking bright. I don't know how long. The LED is not warming up. But I'm sure it's probably not good for it in the long term. So we'll just... Uh, We'll adjust the resistor values and fix the footprint and try one more time and see if we can get this correct. So, do you think I should sell these on Tindy once I fix the resistors and the footprint? They should definitely sell for less than $10 each, although I don't know off the top of my head exactly how much they'd be. So, uh, I'll try to fix that, come back in a few weeks, and see if we got these adjusted correctly. So go ahead and leave comments down in the description, please. Thumbs up or thumbs down, and I'll see you next video.